What's up online outdoorsmen? Today we are on the east side of the state and what we're gonna do is a little bit of a Google Maps fishing challenge. That's right. I've seen other people do it before. I thought they were kind of cool videos, so I wanted to try one for myself. It is winter fishing. I have no idea if I'm gonna catch anything, but we're surely gonna try. We always try. Let's get to it. I've only got one fishing rod with me today. Right now I've still got that big TRD rigged up, so I'm hoping that that'll work, but honestly I have no idea. I've got a few other baits that I might try. I have a feeling the fishing is going to be very difficult. I also have a feeling that this lake, I'm not gonna catch anything. It's a pretty bad attitude, I know, but looks like it's pretty shallow right here. Probably not the best time of the year to fish this spot. I don't even see any bluegill or perch or anything. Not a good sign. I need to see some bait fish. Also, shallow water. It's not what we want, folks. It's not what we want at all. Quite honestly, the reason I chose this spot is simply because it was next to a trail we were hiking. And I got done and I was like, you know what? Let's do a little fishing. Let's see what we can pull off here. Let's see if we can catch some bass. I just brought my travel tackle box here. I don't have a lot of things with me, but I've got a few plastics, got some crankbaits, got a couple jerk baits. Actually, I only have one jerk bait. I'm gonna try the jerk bait though, it's just a little one. I think that because this is kind of a windblown bank here, this might actually be a pretty good bet. Kind of a cool color. Voila, we're all rigged up. It took me long enough. That cold air, it makes it a lot harder to tie lures on. You know what? First spot just was not feeling it. Just, it was cold. The wind was blowing right at me. The fish were not biting. Um, let's bust into Google real quick. Let's see if we can find a new spot. I don't really want to fish a lake. There's plenty of river around here that I think might have a little bit better chance of catching fish. All right, found a little bend in the river right here. That's the spot. Google Maps. Boom. Let's do it. Will you drive me there? Alright, so as you've seen in a previous video, I have fished the Huron River before, but I've never fished this stretch, so Google Maps came in handy to find this little spot. So I think I'll keep trying the jerkbait, but realistically, I should probably... <laughs> I got spooked by a little marsupial back here. <laughs> probably will be better off with a Ned Rig, so I'll probably end up switching, but hey, it's already on there, I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna keep throwing it. Also, I'm not supposed to swim here, so I'm not gonna swim. I know you guys have been wanting to see me swim in the river during the winter, but I'm not gonna do that. Ugh. Hopefully it works. River's actually moving a little bit. I didn't know how much flow it would have, but it's got a decent amount of current here. I think that could actually help the bite. Hopefully there's still some active fish. I don't know. Honestly, I need to find like a deep pool if I wanna have any luck in the river but you never know. You know what? I really just do not have any confidence in this jerk bait in the river. I think that I'm just gonna be so much better off if I throw a net rig. So that is what I'm gonna do. Go with the uh, TRD Craws. All right, little weedless TRD Craws. I'm thinking this will work pretty well. If anything's gonna work, this should work. Just dead stick this puppy, see what happens. Basically, because there is a good bit of current, all I'm gonna do is just cast it out there and just drift it back. So I'm just gonna reel in the slack as it drifts down the river. I'm realizing that the fishing isn't superb today. In fact, 
a lot of the areas that I'm finding are just not looking right for winter bass fishing. But here is the good news. This right here looks absolutely fire for summer fishing. And so today I'm kind of actually viewing today's Google Maps fishing challenge as an opportunity to scout out future fishing spots. I definitely think I'll come back here in the, like maybe in the summer, throw on some waders, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you that there's so many smallmouth bass line up right here. It'll be stupid. I'm gonna catch so many. And that's what the positive side of today is. And on top of that, it's beautiful outside. So bare minimum, I might not catch fish, but at least it's really, really amazing outside right now. And I'm finding future fishing holes. Can't complain. I'm gonna keep grinding though, because I want to catch a fish, not for me, but for you. I am gonna leave this spot though, because one, there's a lot of bugs. Two, I don't think that this is a good winter fishing spot. So I'm gonna keep looking for a little while longer. Probably won't fish that much longer today. I just, unfortunately, I'm just not seeing a whole lot that I like. We're at our third location. Here's the thing. People always say, hey, third time's a charm. I've actually been here before, so it's a little bit of cheating, but I did find it again on Google Maps. I pointed out, I was like, yeah, let's go here. Oh wait, I've, I've already been there. Does not matter. I'm confident this is gonna be the spot we catch a fish. I want to catch a smallmouth bass, okay? Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. Let's go. It's cold outside, by the way. It's, it's like pretty cold outside. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Giant walleye, big old walleye, no way. Look at this, it's an absolute monster. We gotta bring this home and eat some freaking tacos. Holy shnikes, I've never caught a walleye this big. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I gotta freaking jump over this fence. Holy cow, it's a giant. Dad, <laughs> I'm so happy right now, I gotta get down there somehow. There's some mud right here. That told work just fine. Yes. Look at those eyes. Big old thing. Yeah, baby. Gotcha, bud. Oh, what? <laughs> Look at that. He's Man. Six, seven times that uh, TRD Cross right there on the net rig, I tell you, it'll catch anything. Caught a dang carp on the thing. And now I catch this, what's next? Well, you would have never expected a big old walleye like that, but I tell you what, I, I don't know, I'm just so excited right now because I've been so frustrated. I haven't caught a fish all day. Oh, this just means the world to me right now. I'm gonna release it though. Feel really bad about this, but. I thought I was snagged and then I started pulling up and I saw it side. I'm like, that's a fish. And then I thought it was a big bass and I'm like, wait a second, this isn't a bass. He didn't really fight that hard though. That was the funny thing. Honestly, I think that's a great way to end the day. I wanna go back and eat some food. 